welcome back to my youtube channel today i am showing some of the exercise for how to fix some cameras in in our model so first of all you can go to you can create one one work search for the security things and then you need to go to here and active the security work sets and you can place the cameras over here so if if you need to place the camera just go to system tab and from here you can get the security things and then you can fix the cameras like this for example this is a ceiling mounted camera so if you want to uh, make the cameras over here so you can just uh, tab it and rotate this one and we can place some camera over here for this this view so if you look in the 3d view how it's look just go to and give some elevations for this one around uh, you can say like 2500 so then um, you can just uh, and check the field view field of view so before that you can just select this one and go to the 3d view so it is showing like this and uh, if you can select this one and just uh, stretch it up to here so it will be covering all the the field of view it is coming like that and uh, we can say like uh, we can move this camera a little bit in the center of this one if you can select this camera and just uh, move it up to here so this part is uh, this camera is covering almost this area so we need to check the ceiling heights and everything and then we need to fix it that one so there will be some we need to check the uh, first of all you go here and just uh, select this one and go to 3d view you are you need to check the ceiling height uh, how much it was coming i think there will be no no ceilings it was here the so we need to fix it some wall mounted camera over there i uh, will just place it that one so if we can check it over here so ceiling height is too high so maybe we can fix some wall mounted camera otherwise you can move this one up to here to this place uh, okay so there is no speed ceiling we can check the check there uh, the view range is here it's showing like uh, we can say like 4500 uh, it was not showing it's a double height area that is what otherwise you can place some uh, some some areas you can check the ceiling areas then you can place it that one so i'm going for here other otherwise you can make uh, how it will be show like a double height area so you can go to here in the view and here you can give the plan region and uh, just to make a square for this areas this area and the view range you can say like uh, how much it will come like uh, we can say like 8000 okay then click okay i play it so you can see the camera it's visible over here so you can fix it the camera where you required otherwise if, if it's not showing ceiling mounted camera so you can change that to wall mounted camera wall mounted camera we can fix it and you can place it over in the wall mounted area and uh, you can say like uh, 4500 something like that and if you go to the 3d view yes so it will be work like this so it is a double height area that is what it is showing like this so you can fix it is it is covering up to these areas okay then another camera you can place over here create similar and another one you can place it over here for this one so it will uh, cover all these areas and if you required some ceiling uh, ceiling mounted can create similar and you can change this one to ceiling mounted camera ceiling mounted camera and we can say uh, we can fix it some ceiling mounted camera over here we can see here how much it will come uh, we can say like uh, 2750 something like that and you can go to here and go to the 3d view i think here also we we don't have a ceiling uh, they, they will not place at any ceilings over here so better we can place the wall mounted camera over here here itself so go to select create similar and you can place some wall mounted camera where it's wall available um, and then i can go to here the ceiling mounted camera we can fix it over here okay so just uh, fixing uh, fix some cameras over here for this uh, door entry you can fix some cameras over here so just uh, say this 2750 sorry 2750 and you can see how it's look 
ceiling i think ceiling is not there yeah we need to the ceiling is not ah yeah ceiling is there okay so just uh, we can say like uh, we can fix uh, make it make it down this one up to the ceiling so you can fix the camera like this in the ceiling okay so you can see that that was fixed in the ceiling so it is covering this areas and uh, you can place some other uh, cameras over here to looking in, in in this areas also so you can tap it and you can rotate it the camera and you can place it over here and same thing if you if you require this camera over here okay you can do the uh, same uh, process for same rotations and you can fix it the camera like this so it will cover uh, all the areas uh, the people are entering uh, here or there that, that will cover it and some other ceiling mounted camera you can fix it over uh, just select this one and you can uh, give wherever you require ceiling mount entry entrance is here so you can place the cameras over here and if you don't want to show this fobs you select that one and you just uncheck that things and you can select the cameras all the cameras and just uncheck the fobs from here and uh, and you can go to the 3d view because here it's i think this here this level is elevations from here 2750 we can give it and here also yeah this is also we can say like uh, 2750 because we need to check the ceiling height then you need to give that one go to here and go to the ceiling i think ceiling is not available there or not if it's ce ceiling is available you need to fix it in the ceiling yeah there is no ceilings for this area i think this area is only the ceiling so you need to fix the camera uh, uh, on the ceiling where it's come the ceiling where it's coming so you need to give that one so for example you select this one you can see you need to fix that one in the ceiling yes so like that we can fix the cameras even uh, in the in the plan so if you need some lift camera also so you can fix the ceiling mounted and you can uh, create similar this one cs for the camera here similar and you can fix the C, uh, lift camera also some height you can fix it go to the 3d view and look at uh, look how it's uh, it's work ceiling mounted uh, then i uh, need to check it whether it will be works or not i think the below it was there so you need to go to left elevations and fix this select this one and pick it over here in the lift areas so now now it will be fixed there so the people where the people are entering over in the lift so the camera will cover the area uh, cover the all footages so this is the method like uh, fixing uh, the camera so we, normally we can place it this one in the here you can see it is it will be work or not yeah it is it is it is covering the wall yes you can see here yes it is fixing in the ceiling okay so like that normally we will uh, placing the cameras so wherever you require the ceiling mounted cameras so you can fix it that one our wall mounted camera if you required so that is also you can fix it uh, that one so we will see here how it's work so maybe the ceiling is available or not we need to check it that i think uh, yes so yeah, it is a double height area something like double height areas so you can fix the camera where you required so we can move it down to fix it in the 3d itself so you can fix it this one like this otherwise you can align also using align command you can just uh, a l and uh, just align i think it was not working so then you can fix it like that so all the light is hanging over here okay so you can fix the camera like that so wherever you uh, wherever you required so you can just place it uh, as per that okay create similar and you need to place uh, if for example in the 
staircase area if you need so you can place that one and even even you can fix the outside areas the camera so you can uh, fix the, fix the camera like that you can rotate it and you can place the cameras like that outside area covering also it will it will cover outside the areas also so this is the simple method to making the cameras and if you made to make uh, some cable trunking over here you can make some filters for this one <coughs> go to filters and uh, edit new so you can create uh, some new uh, security security trunking trunking so we can say like security trunking then um, so you can select from here cable tray and cable tray fittings and uh, we can say the service type then equal to so we can say like a security trunk sorry for that and trunking just click ok then add that one security trunking and you can give the patterns from here so select patterns from here and you can choose the color for the trunking otherwise you can oh sorry uh, you can just uh, select the patterns trunking patterns click ok so here you can give the color for the trunking so i'm just choosing this one just click uh, yeah line weight we can give four click ok click ok then uh, go to here in the system tab and you can make a cable trunking for uh, uh, for example i'm just need to 50 into 50 and then you can give the service tab service type security trunking how you given there in the filter tab same same filters you need to apply over here so we just need uh, we just given like a security trunking so just copy that one and then you can make the trunking so from here 50 into 50 and just service type you need to mention over here trunking security trunking so wherever you require the trunking so you can make make it like this so you can make the trunking like this so it will come like like this so in this portion also you need, need to make a trunking so you can make it pro cable tray and connect it to this this one and then uh, then you can make some uh, conduits over here or detail line you can use it so you can um, go to manage and additional settings line styles so you can create one uh, line styles over here new style uh, conduit normally we can create a conduit also so i'm just a simple one i will show you so some conduits you can make it and here you can give a dash dot click ok and make a dl and you can uh, you can create a line style over here conduit just uh, dl again so you can connect the connect like this so otherwise you can create a conduit also no worry so normally we will we'll, we can connect like this to the this one and this one you can connect it to this trunking and this camera you can connect to this trunking and here also you can connect it to this trunking like this and here also you can connect the trunking uh, conduit to this trunking from here also you can connect it the conduit to this uh, trunking so if you look in the 3d view how it's look yeah it's working so you need to mention you need to f find the elevation of the uh, trunking and everything can if, if you need to make it up this trunking so you can make it up it also this one so as per the as per the coordination of the other services you can adjust the through the trunking and everything and thanks for watching this is for the uh, beginners how um, they are um, doing the, the how to play how to place the cameras and everything in a rivet model so just uh, watch my channel and watch my all other videos and subscribe my channel thanks for watching thank you